Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Pisces, I am here to do your uh, a quick peek into your July, okay? This reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. Yeah, uh, somebody's coming towards you um, or this could be a new soulmate connection that you meet here Pisces at the split. We've got your strength standing in your your uh, boundaries, right? Um, your integrity, your, you know, uh, yeah, standing up for yourself. All right, so let's see what we've got. Divine, what do we have for Pisces in July? Oh boy, someone's on the, de on the defense here. Yeah, I feel like this is a person who is needing to defend themselves against it. I mean, that's what this is, needing to defend yourselves against the opinions of others. But I feel like um, they want to choose a path here. Um, they want this to come to an end, all, and they're almost at a completion already. I feel like this person in July, whoever this is, this, it, this could be you, Pisces, this could be your person. Take it how it resonates and reverse the roles if you want. But I, there's someone out here, I feel it's, it's a masculine energy who is feeling very defensive, very guarded right now, knowing um, that they chose very poorly, okay, in a lot of regret. Um, I feel like they chose something that was loveless and they're trying to break free of it. They, that Right now, I feel like they're um, feeling pretty stuck. Okay, they know that they're about to, I feel, end a situation. Okay, they want to end a third party situation and all the heartache. They want to transform this, this whole dealio. They're about ready to make a decision and act on it here. It's almost at a completion. And I feel like they're about to pick up this wand and defend themselves against the opinions of others to get out of a situation they don't want to be in anymore. Yeah, yeah, they're... They're going to be putting something to rest here and uh, possibly come in to um, flirt with you, uh, maybe communicate with you. Yeah, this is somebody who's about to put something to rest and end something, I feel, in the month of July. They're in a lot of regret. They know they chose the wrong person place or thing. Yeah, see, and you are their main focus here in the world. Something is coming to an end here in July, guys. Okay, whether it's with you or your person, this is an end to a cycle. I feel like they're watching you move forward, feeling stuck right now. This, I feel, is their current energy here. Okay, and they're just watching you leave. They're watching you accomplish a lot, too. They're watching you be beautiful. They're watching you put yourself out there. You could be in the public eye. You could be um, moving. This could be what they're thinking about, is moving away. That's sort of the feeling that I'm getting here. They're leaving a situation, but so are you. And you're doing it beautifully. I feel like this is you. You're very well-balanced. Um, intuitive, stepping into a new cycle that's abundant, out in the public eye and saying goodbye to the things that no longer serve you. And this person is just standing here looking at you, wanting you, wanting to come near you, but feeling out in the cold because I feel like um, you're leveling up in your life, it, it, even with money, okay, maybe a house move, a job change, your beauty, everything is leveling up here for you. And their life is a mess right now because they chose to follow the wrong person. This was a third party situation and they chose really bad. You got the world and they got poverty. You got the world in the palm of your hand. See, they could have had that with you. They could have had that if they made the right decision and acted on it. You've got the world in the palm of their hands and they've got bad health. They've got uh, financial issues. They're with somebody um, who they don't want to be around that anymore. They don't. 
They don't. It's too burdensome for this person. They could have a lot of responsibilities or be carrying all the burdens wherever they are in that relationship with whatever they chose, realizing that there's no love there. They realize it. This is somebody who's in a lot of regret over what they chose, over you. They turn their back on the world. They held the world in the palm of their hands. And they turn their back on you. You know, now they watch you move forward. This person is, it's almost like they're in spiritual jail, but I do see them kind of um, being on the defense here. Yeah, you're an empress. And now they want to come and apologize, but they're coming as a page. Okay, and I feel like you've already made your decision here. This could be your energy, Pisces. You could be dealing with another Pisces. But I really feeling like this Empress, it has made it her final decision. This Empress here is moving forward with beauty and abundance and strength and confidence and balance and intuition and being in the public eye and high vibing and happy. This Empress doesn't need anyone. And I feel like the... Um, this empress has already made her decision. Yeah, this person's going to be... Um, I feel like you've made your decision to block this energy out so you can move forward and focus on you. This person could have very well missed their chance at a beautiful soulmate connection. Now they want to offer you this cup, this apology, but I feel like you're going to see it as a fish in that cup. You're going to see it that way. Like, um, you know, like that you don't, like they don't have enough to offer you. That's justice. That's karmic justice. The scales are balanced. The scales are balanced here. You're going to get your justice. I feel like this person will reach out to you in July. And I feel like by then, you're already moving forward emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. Okay, you're moving forward. This person left you sitting here for far too long while they played around with whoever led them into poverty. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, you're um, you're cutting this person out. I feel in July. Yeah, they play your energy here. They played their ten of pentacles. There it is. They could have had the world in the palm of their hands with you. They did have the world in the palm of their hands with you, but this person came in, flying in, hot and heavy, using this wand as a male phallic in order to be intimate, and then they left. They used you, they schmoozed you, they abandoned you, they played you. And when they played you, they played themselves. They lost their ultimate wish fulfillment. Okay, and now they see you moving forward. They're in they're in poverty. I mean, their their life is lacking right now as far as happiness right? Peace of mind, right? Because this person's guilty here. They know it. They have to live with that conscience. That's holding them back. Um, I feel like they don't have as many opportunities. They're very burdened. They, they may even feel stuck, right? If they're still in this energy in July, they don't have any opportunities coming towards them. Only more troubles. Only more problems, Especially if they don't come and try to make it right. At least try. Um, as sincere as they can. Right? Yeah, they lost out on their stability. They lost out on a beautiful connection that could have grown into something stable, solid, and committed. They lost out on generational wealth. The ability to go in the world pretty much wherever they want. And be with somebody lovely. Lovely energy. You're beautiful on the outside as much as you are on the inside. 
And, you know, I mean, they played themselves when they played you. And this is, this is justice. So you're going to be getting your justice in July, Pisces. Anyway, listen, that's what I've got for this reading for a quick July check for you. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. If you like this video, please click that like button, guys. Give me a big fat thumbs up, right? And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe and this is resonating with you, okay? Join the Soul Tribe because we're the best. And until next time, Pisces, have a great July. Take care of you and peace out.